with the black hole. Beware of strangers bearing gifts. There may be strings attached. And what might be strange for some may be a noose for others. Let me show you. pretty excited as America prepares for its first encounter with space since NASA went bankrupt back in 1998. It's quite a circus. Thank you, Stryker. Of course, we will go back to Plymouth Rock the moment the aliens are sighted. In other news, the Environmental Protection Agency has added Hartford, Connecticut to its list of cities to be evacuated by year's end. Carcinogen levels there have topped those found in Baltimore last year. The gap between black salaries and white widen. Wait, something's now happening at Plymouth Rock. Stryker. Well, as you can hear, Bernie, there's definitely something going on now. We can't see anything yet, but this humming is definitely growing louder. You know, ever since the alien signal was first received some three months ago, speculation has run rampant as to their appearance, the size and shape of their craft. Oh, my God! Literally, a flotilla of spacecraft have just materialized nowhere right over our head. This is absolutely amazing. And this is literally an unbelievable sight. You know, as I look to my left, I see Vice President D'Amato and Secretary of State Buchanan approaching the microphone. For those of you who are concerned, President Taylor, of course, is safe and secure in an undisclosed bunker until it's determined whether or not the aliens pose any threat. Hello. Hello. Is this on? Can you understand me? I'm the vice president of... Oh, we are space traders bearing exquisite gifts that will restore your nation to its former glory. Nearly limitless quantities of gold and precious metals that will instantly erase your deficit. Machines that will renew your rivers and your air. Cold fusion technology for a safe, cheap, and inexhaustible source of energy. All we ask in return is the delivery to our vessels. Five days from now, Every child, woman, and man in your nation with at least 2,500 milligrams of melanin in their skin per square centimeter. What the hell is melanin? Put more simply, in trade for solving all your most pressing domestic catastrophes, we are asking for every person in your country that you would classify as black. Are you kidding? <laughs> No, we are not. What are you going to do with them? Well, that does not concern you. We give you five days to decide, and the offer is non-negotiable. We will not try to coerce you in any way. Yet, I hope we can do some business together. We wait all this time for a fucking UFO and they come here with this? <laughs> <laughs> it's all bullshit, right? Yeah. right? Maybe. Maybe this day is going to go down in history. An end to poverty. End to pollution. Cheap, unlimited energy for every American. Sounds like a hell of a re-election platform. Sam. I have to go on record as saying this is crazy, but... But what? Well, welfare rolls would be cut 40%. Food stamps, Medicare, drug abuse programs slashed. May I add something, Mr. President? You know, if I could guarantee the prosperity of this great country by giving life or taking off of those space traders, I'd do so without a moment's hesitation. You know, the Secretary's courage is not unlike that American men and women have exhibited when called to military service. And well, some go more willingly than others, but almost all go with the knowledge that they might never come back. I don't believe what I'm hearing. Doesn't anybody see a downside to this? You know, Casper's absolutely right. The guilt that many whites would feel for sending the blacks away could take a severe psychological toll, with medical costs possibly reaching astronomical levels. This is madness. 
our military services would be decimated, depleted of 30% of our manpower. But with unlimited energy? Think of the weapons you could create. <laughs> Mr. President. Sam. You were elected by the slimmest of margins. Your African-American vote was key. I don't expect them to be thrilled, but uh, <laughs> how can I put this delicately? Their future electoral clout is going to be severely limited. <laughs> <laughs> and Casper, let's be honest. Do you really think the aliens will treat them worse than we have? Uh. No, the real issue here is spin control. The decision has to be the will of the people and not the administration policy. How about a national referendum? Have MCI fire up a couple of those yes and no 900 numbers. I'll be damned. We're on to something here. Uh, Professor Golightly. You look like you want to say something. <laughs> gentlemen. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Uh, as you know, Mr. President, I have been a lifelong card-carrying Republican. I feel I was instrumental in your moderate wing wrestling control of the party from religious extremists. I have often supported this administration's repeal of affirmative action legislation, not protested its decreasing handouts to the poor. And in helping you undermine these policies, I realized that your reasons for doing so differed from mine. And yet I was always a good soldier for the party. I sincerely believe and still believe that black people need to learn how to stand on their own two feet without the crutches of governmental legislation. But I'm afraid I must protest in the strongest terms possible what I've heard in this room today. What is being proposed cannot be passed off euphemistically as selective service. At its best, it is group banishment. At its worst, it is utter and complete extermination. Oh, Professor, that's ridiculous. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, did I miss something? Who said anything about exterminate? Look, the space traders seem perfectly nice and civil. Their planet might be one great big club med for all we know. <laughs> Sam, we do not even know if these creatures can deliver on their end. You and I play poker together. What if they're as good at bluffing as you are? Now nah, you're whistling Dixie. I look like a damn idiot if the aliens took off and left me nothing but a big bag of tortilla chips. <laughs> ah. We'll ask them for a peek at the goodies. And if they're not BSing, we'll schedule a national referendum on the night before their deadline. Call up MCI, ask them to fire up two yes and no 900 numbers. Gentlemen. Lady. Yes, talk to me. Well, first of all, I'd just like to say I love your show, Thank Bertice. You. Thank you. I watch it every day. Mm -hmm. no. But my comment is this. Black people have always been complaining about how bad times, they're treated he here, he so I would think they'd just the be tickled right pink to get a free ride someplace else. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, the free ride is fine. It's the return ticket I'm worried about. Okay. Oh, well, Dad, it looks like your chickens are finally coming home to roost. Look, little Miss Militant. I mean, give Dad a break, all right? How was he supposed to know? Uh, besides, I'm sure this will all blow over in a couple of days. Uh, right, Dad? All right. We're going to take a break right now. When we come back, you're going to meet a black psychic who says he's had his bags packed for three years. Stay with us. Well, I have to tell you, this is absolutely the most amazing thing I've ever seen. The Statue of Liberty has actually been turned into gold. Now, officials from Fort Knox here confirm that it is solid and it is pure. 
Officials estimate the value of the gold at over $15 trillion, enough not only to pay off the federal deficit, but also to give every American, every remaining American, a tax-free year. This just in, alien craft have vacuumed the air over Denver and Los Angeles. Smog levels are reported at zero. And live from Chicago, our news team is sending these pictures from Lake Michigan. Gail, if you aren't a sight for sore eyes, Linda sends her regards. He's in the back. Professor? Travis is one of Millie's pups. George gave him to me the night of the election. You know, if this goes through, it's, it's not going to be easy. Drop it, boy. Some folks might fight it. Make the L.A. riots look like a slumber party. The president needs you signing aboard this thing. Professor, if you lobby on our side and the trade is approved, our president promises that he's going to see to it that a hundred black families are smuggled to England. You can draw up the list. I gotta go. What's the word? I bet he had a lot of words. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not sure what they mean. But he said that they'll smuggle us to England if I lobby on his side. So what did you tell him? Well, I'm not sure. Gail, that they even need my help, given the state of black leadership. Please, please, unity. We cannot all speak at once. All right. Legislation. What else? The boycott. Armed struggle. Armed struggle. Look, my friends. Very little is being accomplished here today, Rabbi. They tried this once before, but I pledge to you that hundreds of thousands of Jews will not allow another final solution in this country. Not now, not ever. You just go once we go. Latest tracking polls indicate support of the trade at 40%. The melanin content of 2,500 milligrams per square centimeter that the traders requested roughly corresponds to a light brown skin complexion. Dr. Eric Fannin of Johns Hopkins... Fanon. Excuse me, uh, Dr. Fanon will explain. Doctor. The amount of melanin in one's skin varies according to how dark or tan we might be. 2,500 milligrams per square centimeter corresponds to the darkness of, oh, what I'd say, to be uh, an ordinary paper bag. Thank you, Doctor. In other news, government sources confirm that France, England, and Germany have offered their blacks as well. But the alien spokesperson is quoted as saying, maybe next time. Hi, Mom. What's this? Uh, I, um, all I'm saying is, is try. I'm like, 
I got it was at the last box in the store, and I just thought. <laughs> yes, sir. And I'm taking all my scissors with me too, so they don't tell them what kind of electricity them aliens are gonna have on them ships. Cause you know us black folks, we don't like arriving nowhere all nappy headed. So you really think they're gonna send us away, huh? <laughs> and I told you the one about the American dream. No. That's what all the niggas swimming back to Africa with a Jew under each arm. <laughs> You're outrageous. But you know, Piggy, we could fight back. Like the Palestinians, with rocks and guns. Nigga, please. Like I'm gonna get myself killed just to stay here. I just hope they got them little bottles of Remy Martin on the flight. Got to have my Remy Martin. Oh, Remy Martin. Wait, hold, hold it. Where you going? I'll be right back. Rich folks are crazy. Crazy. If the president didn't listen, why should they? Because they're capitalists first, and Caucasians second. What do you think I've been doing on these corporate boards all these years? This is what it's all been about. The police and these people. Black people have been calling me an Oreo ever since I was 12. After tomorrow, they'll call me a hero. And if it doesn't work, what about the family? What about you? Could we live with ourselves if I help them send black people away? Hmm? No. Call you tonight. Gentlemen, first of all, thank you for coming. Pleasure. Now, I suppose to the rank and file American, this unholy offer by the aliens must seem like an answer to their wildest dreams. It seems to me, however, upon further reflection, that this trade could bring our nation nothing but disaster. He's right. But I don't want you to take my word for it. Because after all, I come from a very obvious self-interest. <laughs> <laughs> Leland, why don't you tell the rest of the boys how this trade would affect your distilleries? Blacks drink 33% of my hard liquor. 48% of my cognac alone. Who's gonna take up that slack? Why, well, it'll decimate athletic shoe sales. Cool and Newport cigarettes. Pork. 15% of our best consumers gone. Like that. And we at the oil companies employ over 12 million people worldwide. Now oh, the alien inexhaustible energy source will wipe us out overnight. Furthermore, the blacks are all gone. How long? Do you think poor whites will stand being at the very bottom of the barrel? We'll have a revolution before the year's out. You've got to tell those little green men to go back where they came from. Excellent, gentlemen. Excellent. Now, I believe that this room represents a few trillion dollars in assets. I propose that we mount the largest ad campaign this nation has ever seen. We buy up every minute of radio and TV airtime, every print ad, every billboard, even every goddamn bus bench, and we flood them with the anti-trade message, S-O-S, save our soul. We'll have whites on their knees begging blacks to stay. Here, 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 here. By executive order, the president has banned African Americans from leaving the country before tomorrow's work. Mommy, this is can't just pretend this isn't happening? World News Now. Yes, you know, this Ruth, my great grandmother. She used to clean white folks' houses on the main line in Philadelphia. Another news. She told me, Mexican you know, they may not like us, but they sure can't live without us. Don't worry, baby. Michael they Jackson can't live without us. Oh, well, mommy. Bottom Islands clean their houses now. Actor George Hamilton vowed today he too will go. Americans won over 500 of 850 Olympic medals awarded to the United States? Yes. Yeah. Good thing. Cigarettes! Cognac! Cigarettes! Thank you. My name's Casey Kasem, and welcome to Alien Trade Referendum. Just say no! Oh, boy. 
Can you imagine life without jazz? No. Or without the blues? No. Or without rock and roll? No. Well, that's what life would have been like in these United States without the contributions of African Americans. Hey. If this referendum passes, and we vote to send dark-skinned people up into outer space. I tell you one thing, you can forget about ever seeing another dream team again. <laughs> 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 Bring any scientists or anything? People, yourself? Just entertainers? Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is for people. This, this is, is for people. Big hits. So tomorrow, when you pick up your phone to vote in the privacy of your own home, just think. Privacy. Mm -hmm. My people? Oh, my people. The sit-ins and the boycotts have worked. We are ahead in the polls. Don't count your chickens before they come home to roost. Oh, somebody bring me some milk, because here come a big Oreo. <laughs> yes, yes. Give him a chance. We are ahead in the polls. But who knows how these people will vote in the privacy of their own homes. Oh, sit down, Tom. I am well aware of how I am perceived, but now is not the time for our petty squabbling. Now, this came to me this morning. In order to ensure victory, we must stop resisting the offer and urge the country to accept the traitor's proposition. <laughs> motivation for racism in this country is the deeply held belief that black people should not have anything that white people don't. Yeah. Well, right. Not only do whites insist on better jobs, higher incomes, better neighborhoods, better schools, but they leap to gobble up our language, our dress, our music, and our dance. <laughs> Therefore, I propose that from now until the polls open this evening, we circulate the rumor that the aliens have arranged for our transport to the wealthiest and most beautiful utopia in the known universe. White folks will go ape, wondering what we will encounter in this new land. They will gnash their teeth. They will even argue that to limit the space traders offer to blacks is an unconstitutional discrimination against whites. I cannot stand here any longer and be influenced by a man who has dedicated his entire life to sabotage his own people. Yeah. 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 Now is not the time for trickery and tall foolery. My people, my people were brought here involuntarily. And involuntarily is the only way they're gonna take me out. reckoning for 20 million Americans of African descent. Voting will begin in just a few seconds from now.
As you know, two telephone numbers will appear on your screen, one in favor and one against the space trader's offer. After dialing the number of your choice, simply key in your personal security code. Here, ladies and gentlemen, are the two numbers. The polls will remain open for the next three hours, but we should be able to project a decision very shortly. Ladies and gentlemen, with just 6% of the vote tallied, we project... ...that the referendum will pass by a comfortable margin. Collection centers will be set up tomorrow morning by the National Guard. The aliens say that the aliens say they will allow only one piece of carry-on luggage per person. This is Bernard Shields. Goodbye. selling guns to us yesterday and two days ago they quadrupled the border guards you know that well you and he did pledge the same fraternity he just can't You aren't a sight for sore eyes. Linda sends her regards. England? Promise is a promise. That's you, Gail. <laughs> promise is a promise.
knew it was hopeless as soon as the idea was out of the bag. Didn't you? All right, people off the bus and on the beat. Come on, folks, let's move. Get your belongings. Get off the bus. Stand on. Come on, you heard him. Right to the right, get a right. You heard him. You're a family. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Off the bus and on the beat. Just follow along. If you can't carry it, leave it behind. No smile, no talking. to our dark friends and neighbors, we say hello to a new era of American peace and prosperity. For World News Now, I'm Stryker O'Rourke.